Good morning and welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today we're going to be talking about your prepping and how it can be overwhelming, especially from everything that you're probably seeing on YouTube. Now, with that being said, you have all these different things that are going on in this world and everything else that we're all probably pretty much aware of. And, you know, it gets very overwhelming, especially if you're new to prepping, as my channel is based on survival preparedness for the beginners. Okay, so when you're watching other YouTube videos, you're reading stuff or whatever you're doing online, make sure that you stay, you know, calm, cool, and collected. All right, don't let it overwhelm you because it can. It can be very, very intimidating when you see people out there posting, you know, videos or talking about all the stuff that they have. You have to remember something here, folks. Remember one thing. More than likely, these people have been doing this for quite a long time, okay? Now, I started really getting into prepping well over a year ago, okay? It was midsummer last year, and, um, you know, we always had extra food in the house and everything else because I live in a hurricane-prone area here in Florida. But, you know, I started really getting into it to make sure to ensure that my family and everything would be taken care of in case of a major natural disaster, you know? Uh, a lot of the hurricanes nowadays and stuff have been getting really nasty, so I wanted to be prepared 100% so that I knew that I could take care of my family. You know, that is a big you thing. also have to remember is, you know, when you're taking care of your family, and this doesn't maybe mean that you're taking care of people right inside of your home. Now, when Charlie Victor 19 did hit, and I had some family up north, especially my mother and stuff, I did pack up a care package of a lot of stuff that I had uh, put up in my preps and I sent it to her because she couldn't get stuff at the store. I did the same thing with my sister-in-law that lives in New York. When they hit up there, there was nothing in the stores and stuff. So that's why one reason sometimes I do the vacuum sealing in smaller portions. A lot of people don't quite agree with that. But there is reasons behind why I do some of the things that I do. Now remember, it's also based on whatever you want to do. It's how you want to prepare it. You know, you can do, you know, these small little three cups. Or you can split, and this is five pounds. Okay? You can even, if you would like, you can buy the five gallon ones and put it all in a bucket and get you a 25 pound bag of rice and dump it in there. You can do that also. It is all in what you wanna do. But the biggest thing about this video today is do not get overwhelmed with everything that you see going on. Because in the end, it really is all based on how you want to prepare and what you can afford to do. Remember, this takes time to build up a really nice supply of food. Now, unless you're filthy rich and you can go to the store and you can buy, spend a thousand dollars right off the bat, which probably 99% of the people can't do, you have to start off small and your preps will slowly keep building up. If you spend just a little bit of money each week, you will finally get there. Now, when I started mine, that's exactly what I did. Every week I'd buy a couple extra things of this or that, and I started putting up food and making sure that, you know, I had a nice supply in case of an emergency. Now, like I did say, you know, I planned for hurricanes. When I first started doing this, I had no idea that there was a pandemic that was going to be rolling around the corner at any given moment. You know, but as a prepper, you're ready. Once you get your, your stockpile built up, you're ready. You will be ready for whatever comes your way. 
you know, and that is the whole idea of Now dreams. remember, you can go on YouTube and you can watch a lot of different YouTube channels and everything else, and uh, you can get a lot of ideas, and you can also see some of these people where, you know, they have stockpiles of, you know, one, two, three years worth of, you know, food and supplies and everything else, but it took them quite a while to do that. It's not going to happen overnight. And that's the point I'm trying to make sure I get across here is I was scrolling through YouTube uh, yesterday and I had noticed that there's a lot of videos out there, people that I don't even subscribe to. Um, I have my few that I do watch because I think uh, they're one of the main ones that got me into uh, what I do. One is Alaskan Prepper, and the other one is Survival Living. So you might want to check those two channels out because they're really great. Now, Alaskan Prepper has been around for a very long time, and Survival Living, which used to be Central Florida Prepper, he's been around for a little over a year now. So, um, but they have really good information. Um, they cover a lot of things in detail, especially Alaskan Prepper. Uh, he is as by the way I look at it as far as a YouTube goes he is a, a godsend to a lot of people he helps out a lot of people he covers a lot of things and I'm not just pushing that for you know pushing his channel or CFP and survival living but they're really good at what they do and there are some of the the two main ones that got me into doing the videos on this stuff and starting my channel because I want to try to make a difference also. But back to the point being, all right, do not let this make you feel overwhelmed. Don't let it take control of everything that you have to do. You know, you want to start out small. Yes, there's a lot of stuff that's going on. And, you know, maybe you feel that you got to spend the money or you need to do this and you got to do that. Um, unfortunately, with the times we live in and with everything that's going on, we really don't have much of a choice but to try to rush and try to get a stockpile built because up. Because once you get your stockpile built up and you can take and get things that you need right now, maybe for at least two weeks, in case something happens with between the election and then the uh, the pandemic that's coming back and everything else you might feel a little bit better about yourself and then try to keep adding to it as long as things are still available and you can get your hands on the stuff that is the whole question right there but just remember just remember that it is possible and it is feasible and you can afford to do it if you just Think outside the box and use your, your brain and think of ways of how you can do this. You can shop if you're doing coupons. A lot of people do coupons. Look for the coupons. Look for the buy one, get ones. Those are the easy give me, you know, that goes right in your stockpile. Then that's how I started out. If it was buy one, get one, one went in my cupboard and the other one went into my emergency supplies. And that's the easiest way to do it. You know, especially when you're starting out because it's kind of a give me, you know. But I just want everybody out there just to make sure that you do understand when you're watching a lot of these videos and everything else that are out there. And, you know, if you're reading into anything online, websites, anything like that, because there's all types of information besides YouTube. Don't get overwhelmed with this. Make sure that you are just keep plugging away you know and you will eventually get to that point now it all did you know you have to decide how much you want to have on hand do you want two weeks supply which is the minimum I wouldn't go any less than two weeks supply do you want a 30 day supply do you want a three month supply a six month supply nine months a year it's whatever you can afford and you have the room to store it properly now that's another whole subject there and that's a whole nother video because if you're going to spend the money 
on all these different products and stuff, you want to make sure that you have the place to store this stuff properly. So in closing, I just wanted to do a quick video to make sure that people really understand that don't get overwhelmed from listening to all these YouTube channels and stuff that are pushing, you know, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to have it done now, you, you got to do this, you know, yeah, you're, you're you just have to sit back and take a deep breath and they probably have a lot of good information. I mean, like on my channel, I have a lot of videos and everything else and I talk about all different types of stuff and you know, your time's running out because you know, we have the election, you have the COVID-19 that's kicking back up and everything else, but it doesn't mean that you have to really hit the panic button at this point in time. Start stocking up, go to Walmart, start buying some tuna fish, Buy some canned chicken, get canned vegetables. Those are really cheap. They still have them on sale for 50 cents a can, at least in my area here in Florida. I can't speak for the rest of the country. Rice is still pretty cheap. It has gone up in price, but it's still pretty cheap. And if you have rice and you have beans and stuff like that, I mean, you got a pretty good meal right there and you're not spending a lot of money, you know? I talk about doing several videos and stuff where I vacuum pack. I use Mylar bags, which you see right here, with oxygen absorbers, okay? Um, canning jars, vacuum seal them. Um, there's several different ways that you can do this, and it's all in what you can afford to do. But just make sure that you are making, you keeping a clean head, and you're not really getting overwhelmed. Just try to stay back, make a plan. I talk about this in a lot of videos, have a plan. You need to have a plan, get a notebook, make a plan. This is what I need to do. Concentrate and start putting check marks next to the stuff that you get done. You know, if you need, if you want to have four cans of this, of chicken and two cans of this, and you follow what I'm saying, make a list of what it is that you're gonna to wanna to have on hand in an emergency situation for your emergency supply kit and then start checking the stuff off as you get it all right it makes things a lot easier it makes it so that it is more controlled so my name is charles this is survival preparedness for beginners i hope that this helps people out as far as staying calm cool and collected while this whole thing is going on and don't panic just try to make sure that you're getting out there and you're starting to put up preps in your emergency supply. Because once you do that, you'll start feeling a lot better about yourself and about things that are going on, and you won't worry as much about any type of a situation that may arise once you have started building on your stockpile. So this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.